Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Killian Honey. If it's your first time here, welcome. I wanna share with you guys how you can build emotional intimacy with yourself. How to really connect with yourself, get to know yourself, and love yourself truly so that you're feeling good from the inside out. I've learned these things throughout my healing journey. It helped me quit addictions. It helped me free myself out of toxic situations and really liberate myself so that every single day I'm feeling inner peace. Not to say that every single day is easy, but I've created a safe haven within myself. I've learned about my own self and I've built a relationship with myself. I call it self-love. But when you hear self-love, it sounds so generic. It sounds a bit narcissistic. <laughs> But it's interesting what you can discover as you get to know yourself more. And so when I talk about self-love, I'm talking about our inner world and getting to know our own soul, our true self, our authentic self, which has been covered by so many outside influences and lies and traumas and crazy things in the world, right? But that's why it's important to connect with yourself emotional intimacy this is going to help you to trust yourself know who you are and feel good you're going to feel equipped to get through any situation life throws your way you're going to be feeling good about yourself inside so it's going to help you to build your confidence but more than anything inner peace and feeling safe within your own self so that you can be free truly and be feeling so good gain that validation and self-worth, self-respect and hope, love, all of it from within. And now it's flourishing out. To do this, to get to this space, we want to get to know ourselves. Emotional intimacy, how to build a relationship with yourself. You guys, I think that a lot of people, myself included, in the past were just on autopilot living life day to day, but feeling disconnected from our true selves. And so it's cool to learn how to connect with yourself on a deep level. You're gonna feel an alignment. Everything is gonna click, like it's gonna come together. It's gonna make sense because you want your life to match who you really are on the inside because otherwise there's gonna be misalignment. You might feel out of tune or depressed or sad or like something's wrong but you don't know what it is and it's because you've been disconnected from your inside like your soul <laughs> and who you really are so we how do we discover it intimacy i call it emotional intimacy because your emotions are speaking to you so your feelings your mood how you're feeling it's a reflection of what's going on inside of you and the only way to feel better is to first acknowledge how you truly feel which is a process and then once you acknowledge it you can make changes so that you can feel better but first you have to discover what's wrong and when you start to do this this is how you're going to build trust with yourself because you're making time for you and you're honoring your feelings when we ignore how we feel we betray ourselves in a sense because we basically tell ourselves how you really feel doesn't matter and I'm going to force myself to do something else. I'm going to bypass how I feel and I'm going to listen to other people or listen to lies or not like stay true to yourself. And so that's why your emotions are your friends. Your emotions are your your. It's very spiritual because how many of us listen to our feelings we've been taught to not we've been taught to ignore them and just do what makes sense but <laughs> does life even truly make sense you know like we try to figure it out all the time with our logic and science and things like that but we're in a magical plane we can do as much research as we want but at the end of the day life is a mystery we have all come to earth 
not truly knowing. We can talk about it. We can try to figure it out. We can have insights and maybe get closer and closer to the truth, but life is a huge mystery. And so one way you can guide your life and get to know yourself is to tap into the unseen and your feelings are one of those things. You can't see your feelings, you can't prove them, but it's you connecting to your intuition. And so you never want to ignore them. If you do, it's going to take you on the wrong path and you are not going to feel good inside because you're not honoring yourself. So you have feelings for a reason. We're all souls, right? Like there's a spiritual realm and so it's guiding you, but we have free will. So it's up to you if you want to honor how you feel, honor the unseen. It's called faith, right? Like you can't see it, you can't prove it, but you feel it. You choose to follow it if you want to. How to build emotional intimacy with yourself your emotions, right? So first make time to do this, get to know yourself. Like you got to spend some time with just you because from the time you're born, you're a little kid, you're surrounded by people, your family, your friends, and this happens all throughout life. So when you go on a spiritual journey, it's important to make time to be alone and get to know yourself. This is one way you're going to connect with yourself. When you make the time to, and people try to say, Oh, I'm too busy, but everything is a choice you're not you just are not prioritizing it and so if you want to know yourself on a deeper level if you want to heal yourself in any way you have to get to know yourself and so connect with your emotions you got to make the time to do it once you once you make the time to connect with yourself when you discover what's there like it's gonna be amazing you're gonna be able to to grow, to move forward in your life, but resolve anything that may, may be troubling you. How to connect with yourself on a deep level. One thing you can do is observe the thoughts that cross your mind. And so you have to practice this because it can be hard to do at first. And some people call it meditation, but being in stillness and not thinking. I know it could be hard just not thinking your mind is going to want to think <laughs> but w focus on your breathing since you have to be thinking of something just think of your breathing and your when your mind starts to drift off come back to your breathing and so it's like an exercise it's a practice to observe what is in your mind and it's very powerful because you're going to get to know yourself better once you're focused on your breathing, okay, the awareness will be, okay, what are the thoughts crossing your mind? It's not that you're thinking a thought. Don't think a thought deliberately. Just when your mind tries to think of something, just focus on the breathing. And then see what crosses your mind. The thoughts that cross your mind, that's like gold, <laughs> because you're gonna to get to know what has what your mind has been running on. Your mind is like a computer. And so what has been the, what's the software? What's been downloaded into your mind? What's been programmed into your mind? You won't know, I mean, one way to know is through your behaviors. But when we talk about emotional intimacy, getting to know yourself, this is a practice you can do. Focus on your breathing, do not deliberately think of anything and just observe what crosses your mind. You guys, when you first do this, you're going to be amazed because that those thoughts might be extremely negative. They might be hateful. They might be like you going against yourself, but you're not your thoughts. You're the awareness observing the thoughts. A lot of times the thoughts that are crossing our mind did not come from us, are not true. They're lies and they are negative programming. Okay, so... All of us have been neg negatively programmed to think that we're not enough, to think that we don't matter, to think that we're small, meek, weak, and every negative thing you can think of. Not beautiful enough, not powerful enough, not rich enough, not capable enough, like all of these horrible negative thoughts. And the reason this is powerful and how it's gonna help you to know yourself is because observe the program that you've been running on okay and then 
what's helped me in my own life is to write write it down no matter how ugly it looks because it's not gonna be pretty sometimes there might be some beautiful thoughts that cross the mind which is great we'll get there but we'll talk more about that but first just write them down okay and this is a practice you don't do it one time and you're done for your life do it as much as you need to if you're ever feeling uneasy it is a call from your own self to spend some time with yourself emotional intimacy with yourself okay so this is about you getting to know yourself better it's like one way to do it write it down and your life will start to make sense because our behaviors are stemming from our mind what we think to be true or what we've been telling ourselves so so many people are living out their life doing things that they don't even agree with doing things and they don't know why they're doing it it's because their mind is telling them to do it so this is why it's powerful to observe what's in your mind and spiritually if you've been awakening then you know that our thoughts are attacked spiritually dark entities they want to take over the collective and infuse you with fear and doubt and all these things for a million different reasons but regardless just observe what's been crossing your mind then what do you agree with what do you not and make choices to eliminate them put a new thought in your mind <laughs> put some new thoughts in your mind and that's why i created one of my ebooks is 200 self-love affirmations just something short and sweet short and concise but you have to repeat it to yourself so start to implant your mind with thoughts that are healthy that you want to grow and manifest and take the action in alignment with new thoughts amazing thoughts healthy thoughts but you can't just say it once you have to reprogram your mind download a new software system into your mind of whatever it is you want you're healthy you're lovable you're loved you're successful you're prosperous abundant rich wealthy whatever it is you want for your life what's an alignment for you any kind of life you want and who you really are you know so start telling yourself the truth and and in this way you get to know yourself on a very deep level and now you're creating your life life is not just happening to you, you're co-creating it and you're working with the divine you're actually tapping into your goddess power your god power because god is also within you and so when you start to recognize this and you start to empower yourself, then now you're working directly with the divine. You're no longer just letting life swing you around, but you're actually living your life with intention this way. And if you're powerful this way, the universe is gonna work powerfully through you because you actually believe now and know now that you have some type of power in your own life. You're not weak, you're powerful. Okay, so <laughs> how to build an intimate connection with yourself intimacy with yourself <laughs> this is that was your mind right okay so and then we talked about your emotions honoring your emotions and being able to because see here's the cool thing when you start to observe your emotions you don't have to take action in alignment if the emotion doesn't serve you so if your emotions are just like afraid or fearful or scared or something you can neutralize it you can transmute it into what serves you but it's very beautiful because it's a reflection of what's happening within you so don't shame yourself don't feel guilty just illuminate it and when you do this when you stop judging yourself is when you start trusting yourself and you start connecting deeper to yourself when you allow yourself to be so that's why if there's negative thoughts just allow them observe them don't attach to them don't identify to them just observe them a negative emotion allow it to be there it's telling you something about yourself maybe you're feeling insecure maybe you're feeling powerless maybe you're feeling afraid and don't be like oh i'm so weak instead just be like okay well why do i feel like that so when you grant yourself space to simply be, now you're truly connecting with yourself and you're building trust with your inner self. Your shadows, they stop hiding from you. Your feelings, they stop hiding from you because you've made space for them. You're not judging them. Think about like your best friend, if there's something that's been bothering her or him and you can tell, but they won't open up to you about it. 
think of your own self this way because maybe they're afraid you're going to judge them but instead if you create a loving space for them and then they open up to you once you express and you allow them to express they feel so much better and now you can you're actually helping them to resolve it to move past it for healing this is how we heal ourselves you have to allow all of you to be there and then once you've done that with grace and love okay now you can make changes but don't just try to make the changes that you want in your life without seeing without letting yourself be because we're growing and we can't force growth and sometimes growth it hurts it feels like a punch in the stomach because you didn't know that about yourself but don't identify with it just simply make a new decision so it's very beautiful it's healing this is how i've learned to build build an intimate connection with my own self this is how i've learned to trust myself I, I allowed myself to be free and see all of me the good the bad that's why light and dark spiritual growth is about integration that's why i don't identify with religion anymore because it's not about ignoring the darkness within us it's not about pretending to be perfect or shaming ourselves that's huge i've saw i've seen that online <laughs> with it's the indoctrination, especially as a woman, our sexual energy. You don't have to be ashamed of your sexual energy. It's natural, that's how you got here. It's it's divine, it's creative, it's your sacral chakra. It's so powerful and luscious and sensual. Sex feels good, so there's nothing wrong with it. But it's about discernment and using it wisely, knowing your worth and being in a state of love, health, mentally emotionally then engaging in sex and so don't shame yourself religion might teach you that you're bad or nasty for having sexual desire it's not true it's just about dismantling the lies and being in the light embracing light and dark and if for example sex you're you know have dark thoughts around it or wanting to do something that's <laughs> not so holy integration means seeing that about yourself and getting to the root as to why and accepting all of you doesn't mean you have to do it but this is how you can see your full self without any shame so religion might try to shame you out of who you are then you feel guilty low and you can't lie to yourself so you still feel that way you just it's deep inside and that's not how you know yourself that's not how you you're not overcoming anything by ignoring <laughs> by ignoring yourself, how to build intimacy with yourself, seeing your whole self, right? Making room for your thoughts, your emotions, getting to know what you've been telling yourself or what has been told to you that you were believing and acting out. But the last thing I wanna share with you guys on this topic is learning to heal yourself. Self-healing, journaling my thoughts, learning new things anything that's been troubling in your life and we'll know what it is because it's like patterns that will emerge for example <laughs> something i'm still working on in my own life is emotional eating and i've lost weight on my spiritual journey because as you let go of traumas and as you've let let go of the baggage your body is the subconscious mind shout out who shout out to who taught me that your body is a sub is is the subconscious mind so like i told you the things you've been telling yourself or the things you've heard about yourself that you accepted as true those thoughts those emotions you're it's going to show up on your body so if you've been carrying things that don't serve you negative thoughts about yourself you're manifesting it this is why it's important to know yourself because your life is a reflection of what's within so for me when i feel emotions that i don't like i could still reach for food sweets or eating too much which is harming myself right so instead of doing that it's more so about being present with those emotions that don't feel good and being with myself instead of trying to numb myself instead of trying to escape what i'm going through feeling it, releasing it, and knowing what is me versus what is a bad emotion. But it doesn't take away from your value, right? So you're enough and have trust and faith in your path and in your journey. 
and you're not here to be perfect we're here to learn about ourselves discover ourselves and empower ourselves because making a new decision takes courage but you're growing through it you used to be one way you used to do things one way now you're doing things another way so that transformation from the caterpillar into the butterfly and we're constantly ascending when we choose to and we're vibrating higher when we choose to and when we allow ourselves to <laughs> right so these are the things I wanted to share with you guys. Drop me any questions that you have down below. Check out the membership I have on this channel. I just started it. So if you guys want to sign up for it, we're going to dive deeper and I'm going to get into the nitty gritty. If you're interested on healing or anything it is that you want to learn about, transformation, healing addictions, things like that. So just let me know. Drop me a comment. I'm sending you so much love and power and healing on your journey. Make sure you download the 200 self-love affirmations. Work on your mind and your mind is connected to your emotional state. Make time for yourself every day. Connect with yourself because you deserve it and it's gonna help you to feel good. Okay, I'll see you next time.